Hello and welcome. My name is Jessica Jem. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! Alrighty, so I had an idea for my holiday piece that I really liked, and that was taking these three elf OCs that I made in 2019 and giving them an upgrade to put them in a fun little scenario. I was hoping to do a skating scene, and while it took a lot of work and struggles, I was able to pull it off in the end. For starters, I updated their outfits by trying a few designs inspired by different things like time period or theme, sticking to the shape language and lengths of their original versions, while adding a lot more flair and… actual design to them. I ended up going with outfits that I made after looking at a bunch of different professional figure skating costumes. I gave them all concrete body types instead of blob, and also loosely designed their features for reference to the general race groups that I wanted them to appear as. Slight Asian mix inspired for the first, African for the second, and European for the third. I didn't go much more specific than that for now, as I feel I can't really properly represent the different facial styles yet. They're also fairly storyless OCs at the moment, so I didn't worry too much about that. To prep for the piece, I also did several landscape studies, which turned out fairly decent, but obviously not in a style I could use, so hopefully they ended up helping me out with the different elements in some subconscious capacity. I did a larger and more detailed attempt, which ended up being more a play around with texture and paint style brushes. Not my typical jam, and definitely not one to seriously try when I only have a week to make a piece I want a full background on. I was honestly struggling quite a lot with layout, composition, and figuring out the look I wanted to try for, and spending several days cleaning and prepping for Christmas really limited my energy and time this week. So I used an interesting new tool. You may have heard of it, it's called, um, AI? I was having such a hard time finding reference for what I was actually looking for, so I generated a bunch of various renders to use as examples. Using them as mental reference, I had a better idea of the composition, perspective, line widths, render, color, and shading style. By pulling bits and pieces that I liked from all of them and combining them with my own actual skills, I designed and drew this full background with my own two one hand? Art is usually done with just one hand. <laughs> it gave my frustrated and confused, visionless art brain something to latch onto to use as a starting point, and from there I continued pulling upon all the skills I've learned in my years of art practice. I used thicker lines for the closer elements, thinner for further back. I added detail where needed and left it out where it didn't fit and composed the individual elements in a way that felt aesthetic and natural to my artist's eyes and brain, while purposefully choosing what I wanted each item to accomplish in the scene. And you know what? This week, with the state that my head was in, I couldn't have done it without this new tool. I feel kind of proud of myself for using it that way. But anyway, back to the process. I started with a low level of detail for the base basically just the outer lines with no texture and definition. This helped me not get too overwhelmed before I even figured out how it was all going to look together. I didn't even end up adding any extra texture lines, as the color and shading gave me everything I needed. As I went along, I was starting to get into a bit of a groove, and then I started actually enjoying it as well. The anatomy gave me a pretty tough time, but I managed to figure it out. And I think the different angles and foreshortening I was able to pull off were pretty good. Something I noticed while adding the outfits was that I had turned away the most prominent design elements from each one, but I guess that's just how it'd be sometimes. For the lines all over, I stuck with a pixelated solid width brush to keep things a bit less complicated for the inking stage, and I think it created a cool look. For color, I noticed that I typically do the local base colors and then use adjustment layers to change them to what I want. 
but this time I tried to tint them to a more cool blue tone manually, as I don't want to keep using layer styles as a crutch. I still did a few adjustments to make it all fit together later. Still, needed less than usual, and I feel it gave it a cooler effect. I'm quite proud of what I managed to accomplish, sticking through right till the last minute once again. But this was actually really fun, so now I kind of want to try doing more backgrounds like this in the future. Though hopefully not on such a crunched time limit. I am a menace to myself and society. <laughs> time for some winter fun! Thank you so much for watching. I hope your halls are decked and your winter is wonderful. If you enjoyed this video, please grant me a like, and if you'd like to see some more of my art, subscribe to join me. That's all for now, so farewell, and have a very Merry Christmas.